Hi, my name is Kimberly Laser. I'm the Behavioral Husbandry and Welfare Manager at the Oklahoma City Zoo. The Behavioral Husbandry team consists of three of us, myself, Heather, and Laura. One of the key components that my team is responsible for is monitoring animal behavior so that we can assess animal welfare here. We use a lot of different methods to be able to look at our animal's behavior. One of my favorite mentors said, the first thing you have to do is just look at the animal. So we spend a lot of our time going out and watching the animals, seeing what they are telling us, and then we then can make the choices that we feel is gonna improve or help their welfare. So my team resides in our behavioral husbandry lab. This is a space that we utilize to bring all of the magic together to be able to do our job the best that we can. It allows us to be able to come together and discuss what's going on with the animals at the zoo. It also houses everything from our equipment to do behavioral observations, but also equipment for our keepers and our staff members, such as whistles, clickers, all different kinds of things for us and our keepers to be able to do the job the very best they can. Technology is starting to play a really big part in behavioral husbandry. One of the tools that we utilize is a program called Zoo Monitor. We're actually able to go in and look at the animal's behavior and record it in this program. And it creates wonderful graphs that we can really compare animals to see what their behavior is, how they're spending their day, and where they're spending their day. So a recent observation that we did was on our chimpanzee social group. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to see what all of our animals were doing with their day. Um, it's called a behavior budget. And then also where they were spending their time in the habitat and who they were hanging out with, who was friends. In this aspect, we have all of our animals in our social group listed, and we can go ahead and start what we call our scans. So for instance, when the timer goes off, we'll be able to mark that maybe Cindy was doing something like um, resting. Another way that we use the system is to look at our animals over time um, as they get older. You know, we are very fortunate that we um, get to spend a lot of time with our animals, and our animals go into longevities that maybe they don't experience in the wild. So we have our animals who are able to um, get into geriatric care, but of course, just like you and I, as animals get older, their needs change. So we wanna be able to monitor those needs to be able to see what has changed with those animals so that we can know exactly what they're doing and what we need to do to provide the absolute best care possible for them. So one of the animals that we're looking at right now is one of our older animals, Bamboo. She is one of our female elephants who's in her 50s, which is wonderful that is the golden age of life but we know that she's getting a little older as she gets up there so one of the things we want to look at is how she's spending her day and where she's spending her time so this after we do our observations we're able to run a report to see exactly how much of her habitat she's using and from this map you can actually see she actually uses all of her habitat throughout the day and the years. Now, of course, these red areas are gonna show she has some favorite areas that she likes to hang out with, and that's good. That lets us know where she likes to hang out with. But what we're looking for is the fact that she really does utilize all areas of her habitat throughout the year and throughout the day, which is exactly what we would expect from her. Another tool we use is observation cameras. These are cameras that are used both for observing animals in the wild, but also animals in human care. A lot of times we can't be around our animals 24 seven, so these cameras give us an insight into the animal's day even when we can't be with them physically. One of the instances we used this in was when we had our brand new Tanuki join us when we opened Sanctuary Asia. We were integrating those animals into a brand new habitat and we wanted to make sure that they were utilizing that habitat correctly and that there was no issues going on. Well, Tanuki are nocturnal, so unless we wanted to spend a lot of sleepless nights here, one of the best ways to be able to look at their behavior was to set up some trap cameras and look at those cameras in the morning. This also allowed the animals to not have us hovering around, which could have affected their behaviors, and allowed us to really get an idea of what those animals were doing and whether they were settling in nicely. We know that behavior is constant with our animals. Everything we do affects animal behavior, so it's an important responsibility that we know how we're affecting our animals and that we're making choices that provide positive welfare.